So apparently Denver wants its dumplings. That's the message one food truck owner is getting. Yuan Wontons has quite the loyal following, and this week Kylie Burse introduces us to the woman behind the wontons. Yuan Wontons has taken over Denver Instagram. We just never, never expected this. The young dumpling food truck has attracted a cult following on social media. All they do is post on Instagram where they'll be, and the crowd comes. The first, first service we went out, we were like, um, yeah, okay, so we sold out in, I think it was like an hour and a half. And it's been like that ever since, selling out after just a few hours. It all started with one dish. We literally built the truck around this one item. Penelope Wong's chili wonton. We take a traditional Hong Kong style wonton, which is filled with pork and shrimp, and it's wrapped in a light egg dough wrapper. We steam it and then we, we serve it in, in, in um, a scratch made sauce. When I tried the dumplings, I was floored. I was like, okay, what are we gonna do with these? So after 20 years running the kitchen at a country club, Penelope started Yuan Wontong Food Truck with her husband Rob last August. We've expanded since then to different types of dumplings. Um, we try to stay as authentic as possible to flavor profiles. You know, although with my culinary background, I do like to do a lot of fusion. It was a way to, to share my food with, with the general public in Denver. Penelope is Chinese and Thai. I don't remember a single childhood memory that doesn't involve food. Those memories shaping Penelope's menu. A lot of different dishes that I grew up eating as a child um, that I actually get to share with Denver. And much like her food truck, talking to Penelope is a family affair. This is heaven. Which was the whole reason for the food truck in the first place. We have a young daughter and wanting to, to try to figure out a, a more of a work-life balance. We had absolutely no idea the truck would take off the way that it has. Um, we're so grateful. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Well, it really, really looks good. Kylie joins us now. It sounds like they found their niche for a while anyway. Isn't that wild? I know they just started it about a year ago, and so it was to see it take off like that, and not only take off and do so well, but then, of course, February came in March, and then coronavirus happened, so they kind of had to switch up their model a little bit. They ended up having such a loyal following that they donated so much that they were able to then give some wontons to healthcare workers, so it was really cool, and plus, you guys have to follow them on Instagram, first of all, because that's the only way you can find out where they're going to be at any given time, but you'll also just be hungry all the time looking at those wonton pictures. It does look delicious, that's for sure. I know, my stomach's already <laughs> grumbling. Thanks a lot, Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. All right, Kylie, we know you're working late, so thanks for getting up with us. Appreciate it. <laughs> of course.